How's it going YouTube? My name's Scott and welcome to Fudge Muppet. Today we're going through the latest build on the channel, the Ronin. At Fudge Muppet we don't like making law breaking builds, so this character of course isn't a Ronin in the sense that a Ronin from Earth would be, but it uses a similar concept. This is also for everyone wanting a Jedi type build. We'd never create an actual Jedi because that breaks the law, however this is a very similar playstyle and features. For example, some shouts are similar to using the Force, and the whole character has a very monk, sort of peaceful theme. Remember if the Ronin gets 1000 likes in 2 days, we'll make a guide on how to make the face. Clearly a high elf, the Ronin grew up in Somerset Isles in a family of Thalmor nobles. Being groomed since a young age, the Ronin spent a lot of his early adulthood as an emissary for the Thalmor, representing them in other nations and completing special negotiation missions. He wasn't an expert speaker, but he was armed with the facts that he needed to say, and with the leverage of Thalmor resources on his side, he would always succeed. He helped the Thalmor obtain ridiculous amounts of power around Temriel, establishing new embassies and creating new pacts and agreements. As he grew older, however, he met more and more disadvantaged by the Thalmor. He would see shopkeepers struggling to run their businesses under the pressure of strict import regulations, and the worst of all, he saw those in Skyrim who had lost their freedom of religion regarding Talos. As time went on, he continued to visit almost all the nations in Tamriel. He witnessed more atrocities of the Thalmor, many of which were forged by himself. His family ties had held him in an indoctrinating vice for many years, however now it had loosened and his mind was breaking free. He disagreed with their class system, with the self-serving agendas and their disrespect to other races. He did not believe peace could be achieved by supremacy, and he desired a more fulfilling and altruistic lifestyle. It was finally on a diplomatic mission in Skyrim that he saw a Thalmor agent pull aside a Talos worshipper and cut off his ears and lips, laughing as he was kicking the body down the rocky hillside. The Ronin snuck down the rocks to the corpse, and with all the magical abilities he had, he tried to heal the fallen man. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. The Talos worshipper had almost bled out completely. He took off his necklace and offered it to Ronan. Talos be with you, he said. The Ronan took the amulet and wore it proudly. It was a symbol of freedom, it showed him he was not for oppression, and it would serve well to not be hated by many of the Nords in Skyrim. The Ronan, however, wearing the amulet, was spotted by the same Thalmor agent as he tried to leave his diplomat camp. So he is arrested and carted to Helgen. Eventually after fleeing, the Ronin will establish a more peaceful lifestyle and seek out the Greybeards. The main storyline will then of course make sense. The skills for the Ronin are one-handed, alteration, restoration, block and smithing. We can afford so many skills as you won't need heaps of perks in smithing. Smithing is going to make your sword deadly and one-handed will of course represent the skill used to wield such a blade. Restoration will be used for healing yourself and any wounded that you encounter, and Alteration will be used to protect himself with Flesh Cloak spells, and use Paralyze to immobilize enemies that he does not wish to kill. The main skill the Ronin has is of course one that you can't level up, and that is the use of Shouts. His main shout is the Unrelenting Force Shout, however he will also use Elemental Fury and Slow Time a lot as well. Dragon Aspect is fantastic for those with the Dragonborn DLC as it allows them to make the entire playstyle of the build even better. Well, when Sprint is also very efficient and helps with travel and dodging, the list of gear for the Ronin is not very long. He's a simple man, and material value does not exist in his mind. He will use monk robes and boots, a blade sword, and wear the amulet of Talos. The playstyle of the Ronin is very respectful. He never attacks an enemy that has not seen him, and would never attack an enemy first. He will draw his blade, front on, and wait ready to counterattack. This can be very effective when you get the quick reflexes block perk as it allows you to masterfully slip out of the path of enemy attacks and deliver concise strikes with your katana. The stat spread for the Ronin is 40% magicka, 50% health and 10% stamina. Remember even with his magical talent, shouts are the main focus of this build, so crazy amounts of magicka aren't necessary. Now I wonder if any of you guys can guess the stone for this build, it's a Fudge Muppet classic. But hey you can't blame us because it's such an all round great stone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lord Stone. And that wraps up this week's build, the Ronin. I hope you all enjoyed this build and remember the perk link is in the description. You can check out our social media links in the description too if you want to have a look into our personal lives because you're an absolute stalker. And if you do have a look, you'll see Michael is absolutely infested with Ebola 
and he's soon passed it on to me, which is a giant pain in the backside. But don't fret, he'll be back soon recovered, and hopefully the disease doesn't come into fruition for me. But still, I'm Scott, this was the Ronin, give us a thumbs up to see the face guide, and I'll see you soon with a brand new Oblivion Let's Play.